hello hello welcome guys to another video in this video i'll be talking about my dell laptop the precision 5560 i got this laptop off the used market and um, in like two years twice i've experienced this particular issue where i turn the laptop on and the screen doesn't come on you could see the light on the keyboard is on but nothing come not, nothing else happens after a little while the light goes out and if i try this again by uh, pressing the power button same thing happens over and over again um, i'll be talking about how i was able to get the laptop um, to come back on and uh, before I continue if you're not subscribed to this channel please do encourage me to do uh, more videos uh, by subscribing and if there are things you find on videos that you think you might like and uh, there's a link for it in the description please use my um, link it's usually an affiliate link so I'm gonna get a commission for every purchase you make so let's get right to it now what we will be doing is to unscrew the back plate and um, I see it has those fancy screws the MacBooks uh, make use of. So I have this set of screwdrivers I got off AliExpress. You could also get it on Amazon. The link is in the description. And I will be using one of these um, tiny bits to unscrew the laptop. Now, once you have the back open, this is what it looks like on the inside. Nice. Anyway, going straight to the point, this is what we are looking for. We need to unplug the battery just so that we're able to discharge um, the laptop just a little bit. Some laptops come with reset buttons and um, basically things to cut off battery power from the laptop. But uh, this one, I have to uh, bring it open and unplug that um, tiny um, plug right there. I will use one of the tips from the screwdriver set and gently nudge each side of the plug till I can get it out since my finger isn't able to um, have a, gra a good grasp on, on the plug and I do not want to spoil it. You want to be as gentle as possible also just to make sure you do not um, insert too much pressure on the plug just so that you do not um, damage um, the plug. So all we have to do right now, it's already disconnected. All we have to do right now is wait for about 30 seconds or thereabout. Um, I did press the power button once just to uh, make sure it uses up um, every other residual power that could be remaining in the laptop. But yeah, all we have to do right now is just wait. You do not have to hold it down the way I am doing it right now. Um, while we are waiting, I'm going to give you a tour of the laptop. The laptop comes with two SSD slots and um, originally came with one of course when I made a purchase I added another one terabyte into the system for more storage and um, that has really helped me um, in video editing and managing a huge amount of files on the go. Now um, also for the RAM it has two slots of um, DDR4 and it came with I think 16 gig and I increased it to 32 gig that's uh, two 16 gig slots and when you see a laptop that has two fans like this usually it is that one it's for cooling the processor the other one is for the um, graphic processor don't forget to subscribe if you haven't um, I have links in the description if you have to if you find anything on my video that um, you are interested in making a purchase for you could also support me by buying me a coffee link is in the description I think we've given enough time right now for the battery to discharge so I'm gonna get the cover back on I would not bore you with getting the cover on and um, once you do get it on uh, power the laptop and everything comes as normal as usual, the CMOS battery is going to reset, so you might have to set your time once more. Everything is good now, and that's it for this video. Thank you for joining me on this one. Don't forget to support this channel in every way you can. Hit the like, like button, share, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you know when a new video hits. As usual, thank you, and bye-bye.